Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Monday, July 1st, 2019. Our solar wind speeds are coming in at 341.6 kilometers per second with a density of 0.6. Our sun is blank once again. We did have an area of interest yesterday, but that has since decayed. That's now two days in a row without sunspots for a total of 111 in 2019. Our KP indices are coming in at a two, and the 24 hour max is sitting at a three. And taking a look at the SDO in motion, we do have a large coronal hole that is now earth facing, and we should see the increase of solar wind speed somewhere between July 4th and July 5th. And taking an article here from spaceweather.com, Dustalucent Clouds. Europe's heat wave may be creating a new type of cloud, the Dustalucent Cloud. Jose Jimenez, a Spain astronomer, explains on June 29th, we were stargazing with clients and we saw an unusual phenomenon. Just after sunset, a bright band of wispy clouds crossed the twilight. I immediately remember recent pictures of noctilucent clouds on spaceweather.com, but I know it is really, really difficult to see them here in southern Spain. He says, I began to wonder if Kalama might be creating a similar kind of visual effect. Kalama is a type of foggy dust that sometimes blows over Europe from the Sahara Desert. Normally, it doesn't rise very high in the atmosphere, but perhaps the puffed up air overheated Europe has carried it higher than usual. And now here's Mari. Thanks, Jake. A freak hailstorm on Sunday struck Guadalajara, one of Mexico's most populous cities, shocking residents and trapping vehicles in a deluge of ice pellets of up to two meters. That's six feet deep. This city has been experiencing summer temperatures of around 31 degrees centigrade. That's 88 degrees Fahrenheit in recent days. I posted these dramatic scenes on social media last night. Many could not believe they were real. Some said it was impossible. After scouring the internet, I found account after account that yet Yes, this indeed was an actual event that happened. In my research, some speculated that it was the Mexican monsoon season and that it's normal. While seasonal hailstorms do occur in this location, there is no record of anything so heavy for hail accumulation. Last year about this time in Guadalajara, heavy rain associated with tropical cyclone Bud hit on June 10th, 2018. This produced severe flash floods in several parts of the city. Mexico News Daily reported water up to 4 meters at 13 feet, which flooded the rail station, trapping about 40 people inside. That was rain not hail. Enrique Alfaro, the state governor, said he has never seen such scenes in Guadalajara. He said, then we ask ourselves, is climate change real? These are never before seen natural phenomena. He said, it's incredible. At least six neighborhoods in the city outskirts woke up to ice pellets of up to two meters deep, that's six feet deep. While children scampered around and hurled ice balls at each other, the civil protection personnel and soldiers brought out heavy machinery to clear the roads. Nearly 200 homes and businesses reported hail damage, and at least 50 vehicles were swept away by the deluge of ice in hilly areas, some buried under piles of pellets. While no casualties were reported, two people showed early signs of hypothermia. In summary, do not expect normal. Welcome to the Grand Solar Minimum. This hail event did happen. These events are in Increasing. Weakened magnetic field, disturbed weather patterns, and other variables will allow more events like this to come. We are only at the beginning and need to ride this out for three more decades, if not longer. Please tune in to our live show at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Give us a like and a share. Thank you for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum Channel.